Hello, this is video six of continuing building the rabbit tree, so stay tuned. Welcome back to Pine Meadows Hobby Farm. I'm your host Jerry Hansen. Today we're going to be continuing the saga of building the rabbit tree. In video six, we're going to be installing doorknobs and a deadbolt. I think I have some extras down in the shop. And then uh, we'll be working on the roof, the rafters, and the joists. So let's get busy. Coincidentally, I just so happened I had one doorknob and one deadbolt in my shed in my uh, little totes that I save everything. So well, let's get those installed. One thing I did not have was a striker plate for these, but I can acquire those later. No problem. This, I won't be locking this. This is just for uh, aesthetics and to plug that hole. Because <laughs> this deadbolt gets rusted. I would have to do a lot of oiling on it to get it to free up. This door was donated by a coworker of mine. They were, uh, changing out the doors and windows in their house. So they're, they're the ones that um, uh, gave me that beautiful uh, double French door that I'm gonna be putting on the, the patio. I just have to set a couple of screws in here. And it's closed. And it locks. Okay, doors mounted. Now let's go to work on the roof. Peekaboo. Just a little side note, these boards are over a hundred years old. They were salvaged out of a garage that was built, oh, in the 1910s down uh, in the valley. So I salvaged the old garage pieces and brought them up here and pulled all the nails out of it. And now I am using them as my roof joists. These are going 16 inches on center, just like the uh, floor joists and the wall studs. See, now you see why I left the extra lip without trimming. This is a full 8 feet 
by four feet sheet of plywood that I am utilizing. Now I get to tack the ceiling to those joists I just put out. We're cutting the, uh, the roof rafters or trusses and right now I have it set up to cut eight at a time, uh, the bird mouths. And so we're gonna make our first cut. Okay, I got my bird mouths uh, cut. So we're gonna go ahead and assemble the rafters now. We're gonna put this uh, plywood gusset on. Okay, I got my rafters built. There's five of them, so they'll be spaced out every two feet along the roof. Okay, all the rafters are up now. I'll put my runners on and uh, then in the next video, I'll go ahead and paint the roofing and then we'll apply the roofing sheeting to the roof. And also we'll put all the fascia up around the shed and the trim all the boards that we're going to trim out the windows with the door and uh, try to finish this up and then the following video after that we'll paint the outside um, future videos are going to be laying the linoleum on the floor tentatively i want to put a glue linoleum down on the floor and then we're going to be putting in some kind of a wall board inside after i get some styrofoam uh, for insulation we're going to insulate this beast and we're going to go ahead and paint the inside with a, a, a like a latex bathroom kitchen paint uh, that it's wipeable and then we'll go from there and I'll complete the project at that time as far as the building goes future we'll be adding the cabinets uh, and building the cages and installing the cages and the waterworks. So stay tuned. I'm your host Jerry Hansen here at Pine Meadows Hobby Farm. Please subscribe, give me a thumbs up, leave a comment, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.